Hello, in this blog we're supposed to uh, gain access to uh, the blog as we just used in order to reveal the hidden flag. <coughs> in the previous tutorial we were able to uh, gain access to the blog by obtaining a VIP cookie. Now in this blog we can see two active users, Kevin and uh, Cisco Moore. When we view one of the entries, we realize that we be able to comment stuff to the blog. Now with this, I realized that I could uh, play around with some cross-site scripting or probably uh, check for executable injection attacks, but most of these tended not to work. As I later found out, the add comment section uh, form has some validation controls that tend to strip all codes and also encode all HTML entities, which made it hard for me to try to leverage any kind sorts of uh, cross-site scripting attacks. I recommend you take time going through the, the cross-site scripting filter a version cheat sheet uh, found at OWASP. You'll find it very helpful. So we will need to write a payload that will be delivered to the user and then it will grab their cookie and send it back to us. So we save the file and jump out. Now this file contains cross-site scripting attack payload. However, we shall need to, con to uh, host this file on our server in order for it to be accessed via this blog. And to do that, we will use Python. Host it on port 80. So once our service is up and running, we go to the blog and send our attack. So this is our attack vector. We send it through. And it seems like nothing has happened, but all we have to do is just to wait until the user accesses this, this blog. And this is the current cookie that I'm having. So it takes a little while for the user. Once the user views the page, we'll be able to retrieve their cookie. Once we receive the session cookie from the user, we have to insert it inside our browser in order to gain, to gain access to his account. So we copy the cookie and inside the cookie. We confirm that the cookie has been injected in our browser. the cookie has been injected in our browser. So once we restart the browser, we can realize that we logged in as Syscamo. And we have our user flag, second user flag here. <coughs> 